This is a tutorial on how to make a Maxim magazine in GIMP. Some of the concepts in this tutorial are covered in my Cosmo Pollen magazine cover, so you'll probably want to view those tutorials first. So some of the concepts I'm going to gloss through very quickly, and I I will probably go into high speed mode. So if you want to know the finer details, you can just look at the other Cosmopolitan magazine tutorials. We do all magazine covers is 8.5 by 11 with 150 dpi. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a sexy model and I'm going to pick this lady here. And I use the, rec the rectangle tool which is an R shortcut. And control C copy, control V paste. This lady isn't big enough for our Maxim magazine, but that's fine. So we're going to make the headline Maxim. And Maxim uses a font called Trajan Bold. We need the font to be about 300 dots per inch. So I'm going to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to change the color to red. And then I'm going to zoom in, pick our move tool, and offset it a little bit to give it the 3D look. I'm also going to put things in layer groups for organizing things better. One of the features that they had on the older Maxim magazines that they don't have on the newer Maxim magazines is a little black area with a byline up here. So I'm going to create a new layer in my rectangle tool. I'm going to bucket fill with black. And then I'm going to fill it in with some sort of text. In this case, the font I'm going to use is Bebis New. And this font is quite easily found on the web. Don't need it quite that big. And as you as you can see with the Maxim here, we don't really have to worry about that. We're going to move that later on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this down so they're now one, so I can just move it together. And we're not going to worry about the anything lining up just yet too much. Another thing we could do is to give this uh, top line here a bit of uh, depth. We can duplicate the layer and we can change that layer to gray and we can just give it a bit of an offset and that gives it a, still a bit of a 3D effect. And actually I'm going to use the the keyboard and move it up to and over to, and that gives us a bit of a, a 3D effect. I've gone out and found the character map, and I'm looking for some diamonds because usually they have like some diamonds in here. And here it is here. And usually they're a different color, so I'm going to make them red. Move them into position. And I'm just going to copy and paste them and put them back into this layer here so they're all in the top layer. So, just in case I need to layer group, just in case I need to move them around. That looks pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to upscale our model here, something you don't normally do, but we're going to do it with a shift T and a control left mouse button. And we're going to make her bigger. Move her around with the M key. Maybe scale her down a little bit. So what we have is the Maxim logo going overhead. In a few minutes we'll uh, fix that up. 
Okay, I'm going to go with fast speed now and create a few bylines. If you don't know how to create bylines, or you don't know the concepts, uh, they're in my previous Cosmo Magazine tutorials. But what I will do is I will create a new layer group, move it out. I'm going to call that bylines. Then I'm going to move this into that, and I'm going to create all my bylines below that. So my first byline will be Mandy Smith shows us a few licks on the guitar and a lot more. So I've created some bylines here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of a interesting little byline over here. Let's change that to red. Maybe make that a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to create a the bottom of this list here, a new layer. And I'm going to use my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle here. And I'm going to fill it with a yellow color. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my wording here and move it around. And as you can see we've overlaid it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to move my layer down to the bottom here. And I can use my rectangle tool and highlight over here and do a control X to cut that away. And highlight over here and use control X to cut that away. And I can just trim it down. So that looks pretty good. Another thing I'm going to do on this layer is I'm going to go and auto crop the layer so it just makes it as big as this area here. It doesn't take up too much space in the GIMP file when we save it. And now it's probably time to work on Mandy here. We'll just move her over. And now we're going to move Mandy's head from the Maxim sign 
So we need to find the maxim sign, and it's in our top layer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer mask. We say add layer mask, and we choose the default. And then we can zoom in. And basically what happens is, is wherever you paint in black goes to transparent. So in this case, we're going to paint here. that and if you go over it doesn't really matter as in so you just change your color to white so what we'll do is we'll change this one to white and we can flip back and forth it makes it easier so we flip it here and then we paint it in in black and there you go one last thing we can do is add a UPC symbol In this case, the UPC symbol is rather large. So we can do a Shift T, Control, left mouse button, and scale it down. Use the move, move it over, and there you go. A really nice Maxim magazine. Wow, I almost forget the most important thing about the Maxim magazine, and that's the little devil guy. So as you can see, I've gone back and I've modified up the magazine a little bit, just change things around, added this one over here, and we're going to now add our Maxim Devil Dude. And he's below Mandy, so we have to move him up in here so we can see him. And there we go. Just move him with the M key and Shift T and Control Mouse Button. Let's move him down, maybe make him a little bigger, zoom in, and I think it's okay that his tail overlays here. So we're going to pick, put an M in the middle of him, and then use the Trajan bold font, and it's showing up black, so that's okay, we'll just change it to white. And we're going to need to boot it up a bit. Maybe just a little bit smaller. And there you go. Shift Control J. And that is a perfect Maxim Magazine cover.